Now, in concerns with the infant, we're going to look at how to use both sides face masks when using the bag valve mask ventilation technique. If a person only has, a rescuer only has an adult size face mask, we can't use it the way we would for an adult. So we're going to flip it around upside down so that the smaller or more narrow end of the, the apex of the mask seals around the chin and bottom lip of, of the baby while the upper, the more wide part of the mask covers over the forehead, eyes, and face of the baby. Again, C, E technique, we bring the baby's face into the mask. And again, we only ventilate now until we see good chest rise and fall. We get resistance after a chest rise, that's far enough. We need to be careful not to um, overinflate the baby's lungs. We don't want to cause any spontaneous uh, ruptures of the alveoli sacs. I mean, it takes quite a bit of pressure to do that. But we also don't want to fill the, the, the stomach at all with air. Uh, because we're hyperventilating or, or in a ventil we're ventilating the patient too much and it's going into the stomach. So if we do have an infant sized mask, that's the, the best thing to use. It's made for the baby. It fits perfectly over the nose and around the, the mouth and above the, the chin area. Again, we're going to use virtually the same technique. And then baby size ventilations, one breath every three seconds, looking for a good chest rise and fall to make sure that we're ventilating this patient adequately.